Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is a, just a uh, an observation, right, which a lot of us have probably come to uh, in the recent, uh, you know, st since the beginning of April, right? So Fender. It appears Fender is blatantly going after the no-name brands that have been eating their lunch on starter packs for electric guitars, first guitars, learning instruments, you name it. There's that segment of the market where people aren't as sensitive to brand and more sensitive to price. And Fender has uh, found it very difficult to compete in that space when you can get a starter electric guitar for 100 bucks, and they're charging two with the entry-level bullets, in, uh, which now are the Sonics and the like of their entry-level uh, or starter uh priced squire packs and, and guitars. So they've come out with several now, I've found, right? Several different new products to compete. I've already covered the electric and demoed it and showed you the guitar and fiddled around with it a little bit. That's the debut series, uh, which is a Strat style guitar. That's priced at $119.99 and is very similar to the Sonic series uh, of uh, entry point guitars for Squire. Main difference being that the body is not, you know, a glossy finish. It's more of a matte finish. The, um, there's no skunk stripe on the back of the neck. Uh, there's, you know, minor differences on the guitar. But all in all, the major, you know, distinguishing points are the fact that it's a matte finish as opposed to a gloss finish. And that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have, uh, you know, the skunk stripe. Other than that, the tuners seem very comparable. The pots seem very comparable. Pickups are great as far as I'm concerned. And now you've got a very, very, you know, competitive offering in the budget guitar space for electric guitars. I've since found that they've come out with another product that's turned up on Amazon, which is the um, acoustic electric version of what looks like the FA-125CE, Cutaway Electric for Fender. This one is called the FA-25CE, Cutaway Electric. So they removed one digit, number one. The guitar looks very, very similar in terms of materials used and components, right? The, the, the guitar is basically an all-laminate instrument. So the 25 CE and the 125 CE, they're both all laminate starter, basically, acoustic electrics. The um, 25 CE has a, a, a laminate spruce top and mahogany back and sides, the same as the 125 CE. Main difference is that the 125 CE has, again, gloss on the neck. It's got gloss finishing, and probably on the front of the guitar as well, a light gloss. Whereas this 25CE appears to be a very matte finished guitar, similar to the debut series. Um, so they're saving money to some extent on the finishing. The other major difference is the headstock is completely different on the 25CE versus the 125CE. The headstock is smaller. It's not shaped, you know fanned out like the bigger headstock on the 125 CE and the tuners are different right you have the trapezoid really really cheap tuners on the 25 CE where you have closed back sealed tuners on the 125 CE the normal closed back tuners that you find on your budget guitars which seem to you know hold tune okay the trapezoid tuners which are on the really low end bullets at one point a very, very poor crude tuners. Now, I don't know if these are any different, if you're going to have any tuning stability issues, but it's noticeably a different tuner that's on these guitars. The electronics look identical. Once again, it's, it's the same electronics that are on the, um, the 25 CE. It's an, in fact, they're, they say they're the FACEs. Now, the only difference that I can notice is that it's Fishman branded on the 125 CE, and on the 25 CE, it doesn't appear to have Fishman on the uh, casing. I don't know if they're OEMing it and just not putting Fishman on it, or if it's, uh, you know, a knockoff. I don't know. But 
Very, very close. Bottom line is this, guys. These guitars at that price point are entry-level instruments. So you're not buying something that's going to be significantly better either way. So why would you spend, and again, this the, the FA125CE that's been out for the longest amount of time for Fender, the, their starter cutaway electric, is typically anywhere between $199.99 if you find it for a lower price and $229.99. So between $200 and $230. Bucks. This newer line that came out on Amazon, which I don't know if it's, again, made for Amazon only, the alternative series, is $119.99. So if you're buying this for a child as a starter guitar, electric acoustic, or you're just banging around and learning on a guitar for an electric acoustic, or you just want one to, to throw on a stand in a house so that when you have, you know, crazy parties and people, you know, there's always that one guy that wants to pick up the acoustic and start playing Neil Young. Um, you have one in the house. Why not save close to 100 bucks and go with the, the Amazon version, the one nineteen ninety nine version? Now, again, there's an argument for if the tuners are crappy on the guitar, which I don't know if they are or not. Um, you know, it would be frustrating to learn on, right, if, you, if it doesn't hold tune. I doubt Fender would release a product like that. I, I have to think that these tuners will at least hold tune. Will they hold up as long as the other tuners? I don't know. But again, both guitars are budget guitars. So the observation is, is that Fender is very serious now as a player in the ultra low end of guitars, whether it be acoustic, whether it be uh, electric. In fact, they have um, an alternative series, non-electronic version of this guitar, non-cutaway, for $99.99. So now we're at a, below 100 bucks, right, technically. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're serious about playing in the low-end game and, and coming head-on with the no-name manufacturers out there. And when you have a big behemoth like Fender doing that, they're going to cause some noise in the market, no, no doubt. I love that debut guitar. I think you guys know that by now. I absolutely love it. For the price, I don't think it can be beat as a, as a low-end Strat-style guitar. In fact, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's as good as my Mim, and it's not uh, for many reasons. But is it as good as some of the Squires that are significantly more money? Absolutely. In fact, I had a Squire 40th anniversary edition, which if you guys are familiar with the Strat style guitar, there's a version that is a matte finish, vintage model, matte finish. I love this debut guitar. I like it better than the Squire vintage that was selling for, you know, 399 bucks at one point. So it was in the classic vibe, you know, territory. So yeah, I mean, I think they're killing it with what they're trying to do. Now, if this acoustic guitar, acoustic electric is anywhere as good as that, they're going to make some noise in that, in that space as well. So let me know your thoughts, folks. Put them below in the comments. I think Fender is really going to be making a big difference in that space. And um, if you have any uh, questions, put them below. If you like these videos, please subscribe. And as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.